What's up guys? Welcome back to this series on reinforcement learning. In this video, we're going to build on the way we think about the cumulative rewards that an agent receives in a Markov decision process. And to do that, we'll introduce the important concept of return. We'll see that the return is exactly what's driving the agent to make the decisions that it makes. So let's get to it. Recall in the last video, we stated that the goal of an agent in an MDP is to maximize its cumulative rewards. Well, we need a way to aggregate and kind of formalize these cumulative rewards. So for this, we introduce the concept of the expected return of the rewards at a given time step. For now, we can think of the return simply as the sum of future rewards. Mathematically, we define the return g at time t as the reward at time t plus 1 plus the reward at time t plus 2 all the way up until we get to the reward at time big T, where big T is the final time step. This concept of the expected return is super important because it's the agent's objective to maximize the expected return. So the expected return is essentially what's driving the agent to make the decisions that it makes. Now, in our definition of the expected return, we introduced big T as the final time step. When the notion of having a final time step makes sense, the agent-environment interaction naturally breaks up into subsequences called episodes. For example, think about playing a game of Pong. Each new round of the game can be thought of as an episode, and the final time step of each episode occurs when a player scores a point. Each episode ends in a terminal state at time big T, which is followed by resetting the environment to some standard starting state, or to a random sample from a distribution of possible starting states. The next episode then begins independently from how the previous episode ended. Now, formally, tasks with episodes are called episodic tasks. There exist other types of tasks, though, where the agent-environment interactions don't break up naturally into episodes, but instead continue without limit. These types of tasks are called continuing tasks. Can you think of any examples of continuing tasks? Let me know in the comments. Continuing tasks make our definition of the return at each time t problematic because our final time step, big T, would be equal to infinity, and therefore the return itself could be infinite. Because of this, we need to refine the way we're working with the return. Our revision of the way we think about return will make use of discounting. Rather than the agent's goal being to maximize the expected return of rewards, it will instead be to maximize the expected discounted return of rewards. Specifically, the agent will be choosing an action at each time step in order to maximize the expected discounted return. To define the discounted return, we first define the discount rate, gamma, to be a number between 0 and 1. The discount rate will be the rate for which we discount future rewards, and it will determine the present value of future rewards. With this, we define the discounted return, g sub t, to be the sum of the discounted rewards at each time step. If you've ever taken a finance course or learned about the time value of money, then this idea might be familiar to you. This definition of the discounted return makes it to where our agent will care more about the immediate reward over future rewards since future rewards will be more heavily discounted. So while the agent does consider the rewards it expects to receive in the future, the more immediate rewards have more influence when it comes to the agent making a decision about taking a particular action. Now check out this relationship showing how returns at successive time steps are related to each other. We'll make use of this relationship later, but pretty much we can see that the return at time t is equal to the reward at time t plus 1 plus the discounted return at time t plus 1. On the corresponding blog for this video, we expand a bit more on the discounted return to discuss how even though the return at time t is a sum of an infinite number of terms, the return itself is actually finite. So if you're interested in seeing that detail, be sure to go read up on that there. And while you're at it, also check out the Deep Lizard Hive Mind to view what types of perks and rewards are available for joining. All right, we should now have a good feel for the discounted return. The main takeaway here is that it's the agent's objective to maximize the expected discounted return of rewards. 
While the agent does consider all the expected future rewards when selecting an action, the more immediate rewards influence the agent greater than rewards that are expected to be received further out due to the discounting factor. Next time, we'll be building on the ideas from our introduction to MDPs and the discounted return to see how we can measure how good any particular state or any particular action is for the agent. Thanks for contributing to Collective Intelligence, and I'll see you in the next one. Live demo? Live demo. Let's go. This is a live demo. I'm not completely sure that we are going to win, but we shall see. So brown on this side is uh, the computer-controlled paddle. Very simple algorithm. It just stays in front of the ball at all times. On the right, in green, we have our uh, neural network-controlled agent. And it's slightly behind now. So we'll see if it wins. AI is winning. AI is winning. I'm happy because this is a live demo. There is no guarantee that AI will win, actually win. This is learning from just the pixels. So initially, the AI had no idea of even which, what game it was playing, what the rules were. It had even no idea which paddle it was playing. Okay? And we didn't have to explain that. We just give the pixels, and on scoring points, we give, a, we give a positive or a negative reward, and that's it. From that, it learns. And you see, you see those emerging strategies, like what I said, hitting the ball on the side and sending it at a very steep angle is the only way of winning. And it picked that up. We never explained it. It's just an emerging strategy.